so we cut it to an 8 point lead but watch this one second left in the game I'm not even paying attention anymore Steph Curry hits the crazy shot to end the third are you serious let's do some substitutions defense for offense look at this cheese how am I supposed to shoot a free throw like this Gary Payton Get ready because the next 15 minutes will be an intense gameplay. My opponent is 11 and 2. So my opponent is a very good and tough player to play against. These are the type of players you like to play in order to get better at the game. He doubled Leonard. I think it was a mistake. He left Curry open. So I'm saying this because he does the same thing. Curry is open. So these types of players, they have a good roster. They know how to play the game. This is why I play NBA Live or NBA 2K is to get these type of games, you know, very close against good opponents that know how to play because this is how you get better at the game. These are what, you know, makes it exciting. You make mistakes, you get better. So in this game, I'm going to be making mistakes for sure and him as well. So it's going to be a very good gameplay overall. This will be one of my best gameplays of NBA Live on my channel. So like I said, the next 15 minutes will be very intense. Look at him with Dominique Wilkins driving in the paint. So his roster is assembled of legends and current NBA superstars just like mine. He has Steph Curry, he has Shaq from the Magic, he has Dominique Wilkins, he has LeBron, Kevin Love, James Harden, and the list goes on. And for myself, at this point of the game, I was mixing up my rosters, you know, just to have some fun. So I had Chris Porzingis, Kawhi Leonard, Gary Payton, Steph Curry, I also had Shaq and Scottie Pippen. And I also had Larry Bird and Avery Bradley. And you may be asking yourself why I have Bradley on this team. I mainly have him for his defense because his defense is really crazy at, on this game. So I have him in the starting lineup to stop the opposing two guard. Kawhi Leonard gets in the paint. I mean George. <laughs> My bad. Paul George gets in the paint, gets fouled. So he also has Allen Iverson off the bench. Look at him. He's going to cross me. Steph Curry right here. Ooh, he got that animation but he misses the shot. So for most of the game, my opponent will be leading this game because he's going to be going crazy on offense and I'll be also making some mistakes in the first three quarters. Look at Paul George with a nice drive on Kevin Love. So if you notice with Paul George, I backed up so I could get a better angle to drive in the lane. Because if you don't have the angle, it's going to be hard to get into the paint, especially with Shaq in the paint. So I backed off and watch him reach with Iverson. That's one of his mistakes. He tried to reach with Iverson on Curry. It made me wide open for the three ball. So I have Porzingis in the game now. I'm going to try to take Shaq off the dribble. But I'm going to get a bad animation there. That should have been an easy layup. And the reason I have Chris Tapps on my team is to give my opponent different looks. Because most players on this game, their center are traditional bigs like David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, and Shaq. You know, they can't really space the floor. But I put Porzingis in the game to space the floor and give my opponent a different look. So that's why I have this team right now. I try to mix it up just in case my starting lineup can't get it done. I also have Bird off the bench. He hit a three earlier and watch him. He's going to try to reach right here. I waited for it and I get a wide open three. Because my opponents tend to see in the first quarter, I could see it. He likes to reach. So sometimes, and you could see it right here. He gets another steal here. So sometimes he gets lucky. He gets a steal. But a lot of times I made him pay for it. He's obviously going to get a steal once or twice or even more in the game if he keeps doing it every game i mean sorry the whole game you can't avoid it and lebron hits a two here i mean a three i thought he was going to drive it in the paint i was playing too loose now i change up my defense i adjusted larry bird i'm playing manual defense on him i'm playing very tight so that's what you got to do you got to adjust depending on what they are doing i'm playing tight defense on james harden i get the steal with gary payton but we didn't convert on the fast break, so that's why I cut it off. But that was a good defensive possession. So LeBron is driving it into the paint. Help defense Scottie Pippen. He still makes a tough layup in the lane. At this point, he is up by 7 points. Larry Bird fakes him out. So if you notice how I'm using Bird, I am dribbling very slowly. I wait for my opponent to make a move on defense. And then I speed up and hit the 3. James Harden got an animation on Gary Payton. I couldn't do anything there. It's like those ankle breaker animations. You can't really stop that. 
no matter how good of a defender you are, you're still gonna get caught in those animations. Watch how James Harden helps too much. Gary Payton gets the three right back. So we equalize that three that he gave up. So Larry Bird with two seconds left, he makes a mid-range shot, the late release. Oh my gosh, so now we're only down by four going into halftime. So moving into the second half, we can't afford any mistakes if we want to take the lead because my opponent is very good. He has a good squad as well. Like I mentioned, Kawhi Leonard gets in the paint. So Shaq is driving it in the lane on Rodman, but Rodman is going to end up not getting the offensive rebound and Shaq puts it back. This next possession, I was very brave with Steph Curry. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm getting into the lane. I'm going to try to fake out Shaq, but he never jumps. He jumps on my floater, but I still make it on top of him. That was crazy. <laughs> I thought he was going to block me, especially how he was dominating me all game. As Dominique gets a dunk in the lane. So it's still a four point game. I'm trying to cross his Steph Curry, but he knows what I'm doing because obviously if you know what you're doing, then you're going to get a block like this. <laughs> I thought he was going to play the role. I thought he was going to play Rodman that was wide open in the paint, but he made a good decision and blocked Steph Curry. Not many players would have jumped on my shot there. Most players would have went for Rodman, but I applaud my opponent for that block. I pump fake him. McGrady gets in the lane. The pump fake is a very valuable tool on offense. I use it a lot on 2K and on live, and it gets a lot of players. Woo! I take advantage of Steph Curry with Gary Payton in the lane. As great as a shooter Steph Curry is, you could abuse him on defense on this game. So look at T-Mac. He gets an animation. I jump. It doesn't even matter. T-Mac gets that three-point celebration in my face. So at this point, I missed the wide open three with Gary Payton. Unfortunately, because he is already up by 10, so every miss is crucial. Dominique gets in the paint, he fakes me out with the pump fake. I told you, the pump fake is something you gotta utilize. Whether it's NBA Live or an NBA 2K or wherever, the pump fake is very valuable. So at this point, I am down by double digits with one minute left in the third. I'm thinking to myself, what lineup can I use to make a comeback? So I'm putting my defensive players with Peyton, Bradley, Pippen, and... Also, Przingis as a center to, you know, mix it up and Bird as my power forward. You know, have those two as my main points on offense to end this third. See if I can make a, a mini run. So, T-Mac misses a wide open shot, but there you go. Przingis is in the lane. He gets fouled. Because at this point, he subbed out Shaq for some rest. So, that's why I put Przingis in the game. I knew he could out-rebound Kevin Love. He could, you know, dominate the paint. So, it's a bit of a chess match at this time <laughs> so you got to notice what your opponent has on the floor as well so now we are still down by 10 after Porzingis makes those shots Larry Bird blocks Curry manually if you notice I did that myself because there's no way the computer jumps like that look at Porzingis taking advantage of Kevin Love too small boy so he blocked my Stephen Curry shot earlier I blocked him and I take advantage of Love in the paint and Love is still the center, so I'm going to take advantage with Westbrook. I'm going to drive it on T-Mac, and I get the finish. So no Shaq, I'm attacking the paint, if you noticed. So we're down by 11. With 5 seconds left, Westbrook gets bumped. I find Larry Bird. He doesn't jump. He knocks down the 3. So we cut it to an 8-point lead, but watch this. With 1 second left in the game. I'm not even paying attention anymore. Steph Curry hits the crazy... Shot to end the third. Are you serious? So he negates the three I did by Bird. Basically, we're down by double digits once again. A huge obstacle coming into the fourth. But T-Mac hits a three on the fast break. Huge, huge three right there. Curry ends up stopping Shaq somehow. I basically slapped him in the face. <laughs> they didn't call a foul. So we're down by 8 points now. I give it back to Steph Curry. He's going to try to abuse Shaq on the perimeter. You can see he's trying to move his feet. At this point, he doesn't want to give up a 3. So he ends up fouling me. That's a smart move by my opponent. He doesn't want Curry to abuse Shaq. So I'm driving it in the lane right now. He brings the help defense. I get fouled with T-Mac. Because if you notice, T Dominique Wilkins was playing very, very tight on T-Mac. So I knew if I just put up a shot, he would foul me. And also, during this time, it's time to make some offense-defense substitutions. I put Shaq back in the game. I put Pippen back in the game. Because we need to get some stops. But T-Mac misses the second free throw. 
but we can't be missing these free throws and open shots if we want to catch up. He gets in the lane, he gets the offensive rebound over Shaq somehow, that's crazy. We're going to recover nicely, Shaq gets the block on himself. Shaq on Shaq crime right there. So we finally have the ball, T-Mac gets in the lane but he comes back with a block of his own. His Shaq was mad. <laughs> so he ends up going on a fast break, getting the finish. That was a huge turnover by my part. So we are down by 7 with 2 minutes left to go. We get a nice block right there. Are we going to be able to go coast to coast? I find Shaq in the lane, small baby dribbles, I get in the bin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, this game is too crazy. So I'm going back in the lane with T-Mac, no foul. He pushed me, coach, he pushed me. So Dominique is going to get in the lane himself, but the refs are fair. They didn't call a foul for him too. Our refs are not being paid, so you know, they got to call it equally. He jumps for the pump fake, T-Mac, beautiful three. The pump fake is so beautiful, my guys. Use it, use it, use it. Nice block by Shaq. We're on an 11-2 run right now in the last three minutes. T-Mac ties the game. Can you believe it? So Shaq is in the perimeter. We don't care about that. Good defense by our squad. Dominique has the ball. Are we going to be able to get a stop? I'm going to strip him with Scotty right here. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Coast to coast. Can we get the lead? I make a mistake. He baited me. I thought he was going to go in the corner to Peyton, so I passed it inside. But I get the redemption here. I double team. I get the strip with Kawhi. Are we going to get the lead right now? Don't make a mistake. Oh my goodness. Yo. The defense is going all over the place. Our offense is also, you know, all the, we have all the best players on the floor, so it's very hard. Best players plus IQ from both opponents. Crazy, crazy execution that we got to do so i end up making both free throws we finally have the lead i've been down all game am i able to keep it we are down oh my gosh i was about to say we are down but we we're actually up by two I was so used to being down the whole game so now i'm gonna put larry bird in the game for some offense because i already know i'm gonna need it for the next possession it's crucial he ends up making both three throws. It's a tie game once again. I only held the lead for about 15 seconds. Here we go. 45 seconds left in the game. I'm going to give it to my man, Larry Bird. I don't know why I tried to shoot that with Gary Payton. That was a mistake. So Larry Bird on Kevin Love. That's a mismatch. Shaq doesn't come over to help. So I know it's going to be an easy layup in the lane. We are up by two. Can we get a stop against this opponent? A very good matchup. In Boston, Curry, I'm there with Peyton, but Pippen blocks the way and Curry gets a layup. Scotty Pippen blocked my way, but it's all good. We're in a good possession right here. Good position, I mean. Curry gets broken down. Pippen is in the way once again. I was going to shoot a three in the middle, but Pippen's defender was so close to me, I didn't want to do that. Steph Curry ends up fouling Gary Payton. He is over the limit. You know what that means? Two free throws. Let's do some substitutions, defense for offense. Look at this cheese. How am I supposed to shoot a free throw like this? Gary Payton. I don't know how I made that first one. <laughs> how am I supposed to shoot a free? Come on, EA. What is that? You guys want me to lose? After all, I've done this game to come back. They gave me that close-up camera angle on my free throw. Yo, I don't even know how I made that first one. I was just holding square and going off instinct. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what else can <laughs> what else can happen in this game? Curry hit a full court shot. That cheese with the free throw. It's now substitution time. My guys are tired. We need fresh legs. Let's get it. 13.4 seconds left in Boston. Can we escape with the win? We bump him. Scottie Pippen is on J.R. Smith. What is he going to do? Shaq is in the lane. My Shaq doesn't even contest it. He jumps too late. He ties the game. Of course it's a tie game with 5 seconds. What else is new in this game? In this match? This is what you call a heavyweight matchup. Good teams. Good players. 
this is what I live for. for these are the matchups I want to play on live or 2k these are the fun stressful moments that you know that are fun so now I'm gonna bring all my scoring options onto the floor bird at center everyone wants to stretch the floor you know who I'm going to it's gonna be my man Larry Bird four seconds left he reaches T-Mac jumps too early bird mid-range bank shot let's go game winner in Boston by Larry Bird Bird is usually the savior for Boston but this time he's the one that broke their hearts <laughs> oh my goodness this was a crazy gameplay we were down by 14 almost the whole game we ended up coming back at the end with all that free throw nonsense you know oh my goodness if you guys enjoyed this gameplay man this is one of the best games I've ever played on live so drop a like drop comments I really do appreciate it Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.